Yes folks, today's video is about adding insult to injury. Now the other day I posted a video about uh, Renee Altacritti, the woman who had her four-year-old child forcibly pulled away from her by the New South Wales Police. Well as it turns out she was unjustifiably fined $1,000 for not social distancing properly. Now to add insult to injury, the New South Wales Police Commissioner Mick Fuller is being given an $87,000 pay rise by Gladys Berejiklian, the New South Wales Premier. Yes, he's been given this very timely pay rise while thousands are losing their jobs around Australia. But of course he deserves it because he allows his police to do this. Now just to recap a bit, Yeah, now I wonder if the police would have done it, done this, if this woman was wearing a burqa. Anyway, now to add insult to injury. Well, an $87,000 pay rise would make the New South Wales Police Commissioner one of the highest paid public servants in the country now. Is he worth it? You be the judge. I'll ask my panel in just a moment. But the Greens, and they say some Labor MPs, say he's not. And it would take his salary to almost $650,000. Wow, almost $650,000 for allowing his police to grossly abuse people. I'm joined now by my panel, former Labor Minister Stephen Conroy in Melbourne and social commentator Prue McSween in Sydney. Well, Stephen, it's nothing like uh, the heads of departments in Canberra get. They're all on over $900,000, but uh, an $87,000 pay rise at this time? What do you think? Yeah, look, I think uh, I'm sure if he had his time again, he'd rather this uh, had been quietly deferred for three to six months. I, I think he's going to cop a, a pasting for it. I can understand that where, you know, forecasts of over a million people becoming unemployed in the next uh, few months uh, to be seen to be getting a, uh, a pay rise of that magnitude were really great with many people across the country and particularly in New South Wales. So... Yeah, you don't say. I think uh, if he was smart, he'd be asking someone to quietly tell a remuneration tribunal uh, to mm. please put it on the back burner. Yeah, Prue, I'm surprised. Mick Fuller strikes me as someone who's in touch with the real people, right? But the politicians clearly are not, not to have pulled this back or had a quiet word to him to say, you know, as Stephen says, can't we push it out a little bit? Do you think that's going to happen now? Well, I think so. There's been too much debate. It's all about timing, and that's everything. You know, the the political radar, if it was Gladys's decision to reward him because he got that extra emergency controller job over the coronavirus issue, um, or whether it was... I can't imagine it's his decision, but I would have said, yes, just to lay it. Clearly, the timing was totally wrong. Mm -hmm. Anyway, now to the police state in Melbourne the other, the other day. Now, this video is from the anti-lockdown uh, protest outside Victoria's Parliament House the other day. It's a version you won't see on the mainstream media. Now, you can clearly see this is a peaceful protest.
Kim Jong Dan, <laughs> the Victorian dictator. Hmm, for, that's for sure. <laughs> Getting support from uh, passerbys. <laughs> ah, now you see the police here arresting some guy. Now look at them all. How many of them are there? One guy and about maybe 10 police there. Now this is where the mood starts changing. Because of this, the whole mood starts changing. They're just trying to, uh, they're trying to get us all around here, okay, everyone? Just don't Yes, folks, what this demonstrates is this. It demonstrates that people have woken up to this totalitarian con job. And everyone has now lost complete faith in the police. Anyway, today I'll finish this off with a bit of humour from Australia.
So we have Simon Plinth, Just Cinders Adorn. We here in Australia cast our gaze across the drain. Good old Jacinda is in the news again. She's building houses for the poor like it's going out of fashion. Pity she keeps being dragged away by popular attraction. Like advising politicians from all around the world how they need a little touch-up because their underpants are soiled. She's got the woke mob forcing her into being a right controlling snob as she cruises round the world aiming for a higher paying job. But thankfully we've all got her to help build up the dream, regardless of the climbing debt, New Zealand's favourite queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'll just scroll down to his uh, description. A Terry O'Pines fueled view of New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. Yes, it certainly is. Anyway, I've posted a link uh, to his channel in the description below. <laughs> 